Puck is an inner moon of Uranus. It was discovered in December 30th, 85 by Voyager 2 spacecraft. Yep, it was discovered two days before 86 arrived. That was before Halley's Comet came to the inner solar system. His diameter is 160 kilometers. His gravity is like very, very low, like a lot of times lower than the Earth's. Its orbital period is just six hours less than Earth's rotation. So how it's standing on this tiny moon feel like? So yeah, they're different now. So yeah, it is a very, very tiny moon. And it's very close to Uranus. So yeah, you couldn't possibly die of radiation poisoning without a space suit. So yeah, you would need a space suit to protect you. From all that poisoning because it's so close to Uranus honestly so yeah like Pug yeah it doesn't seem to be a perfect sphere like Mimus because Mimus is the is the is the smallest object that is spherical so uh yeah is Puck really spherical or not? Yeah, all moons compared to Earth's. And here's Puck right there. Yeah, it's very, very small. Smaller than Mimus, but so maybe it could be round or not. And yes, Uranus is six major moons, which is Puck, what we're talking about, Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oviron. <clears throat> so, yeah, it does rotate. I mean, yeah, it orbits very, very, very fast. Like, yeah, it orbits quicker than Mimus. Because it's very close. So, yeah, there can be an ice. It yeah, is an icy crust there. But maybe there can be water under the surface of that tiny moon. Yeah, there is Puck right there, which is just right over there near the ring. It's just it's just in the inside of the rings of Uranus, probably. Because, because yeah, you cannot see Uranus's rings because they're thin like on Neptune and Jupiter. Saturn is always the easiest because they're thick. Well, that's all I have to say about this tiny moon. So next week we'll talk about is Miranda. So I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.